Here in the laboratory of physical and analytical chemistry, we are very much concerned about energy storage. In our modern society, producing energy is a major issue. We can use, of course, renewable energy sources like wind and sun, but usually those energy production do not take place when we need it. Therefore, it seems very important to devise energy storage schemes. There are two ways to store energies. One is physical, pumping water up the dam, which is easy in Switzerland. The other way is chemical energy storage, where basically you take one atom, second atom, and you form a chemical bond. The easiest molecule to produce is the hydrogen molecule. Take one hydrogen atom, a second hydrogen atom, and basically you end up with a fuel, hydrogen fuel, which can be used in the hydrogen economy. In our laboratory, we've succeeded to make hydrogen chemically using just acid, sulfuric acid, for example, in a test tube, adding a droplet of decamethyl ferrocene, which is an electron donor. And as you can see, little hydrogen bubbles come out of this biphasic system. The other important aspect of our laboratory is concerned with CO2 reduction. Indeed, it will be a major challenge, maybe for the next generation, to produce fuels like methane, methanol, directly from CO2, because it's a real challenge to crack such a small molecule containing three atoms. And finally, the key challenge, perhaps our grandchildren, is to produce food like glucose directly from CO2. This means that chemists have a lot of work to do in the next century.